Hi everyone, it's Maya from wholesomeyum.com and today I'm showing you how to make the best mashed cauliflower recipe. I've been following a low carb lifestyle for over a decade, so believe me, I've tried cauliflower mash every which way. And this method is my absolute favorite. It's super quick and easy. You need just five ingredients and a couple optional ones, I have to admit, and it takes only 15 minutes. And I have to say, the taste and texture of this keto mash cauliflower is spot on. It's perfectly creamy, it's smooth. I'll show you some tricks to make it really smooth, just like this in the video. And it doesn't have that overpowering cauliflower flavor. Even my four-year-old can't get enough of this, and she loves potatoes. This recipe has actually been a reader favorite on the blog for a few years now, so I decided to include it in my upcoming Easy Keto Carboholics cookbook. If you miss carbs on a keto lifestyle, bread, potatoes, pasta, rice, pizza, even desserts, all that good stuff, this book is filled with keto versions of those recipes, so you don't have to miss the carbs one bit. I'll link down below where you can get a copy of the book, and while this recipe did come from the blog, over 75% of the recipes in this keto cookbook are brand new, not found anywhere else, not even on my website. I also regularly post recipes like this on my YouTube channel. Recipes that need just a few ingredients are super easy and delicious, so be sure you subscribe so you'll be notified as soon as I post more of those. But for now, we're making keto mashed cauliflower. Let's do this. First thing I'm going to do is mince some garlic. You're going to need two cloves of garlic for this recipe. And what I like to do is cut off the root end first and then kind of bang on the side of the knife and the skin just comes right off. Super convenient. My cloves of garlic are pretty huge here, but I love garlic, so I'm going for it. If you like garlic as much as I do, feel free to throw an extra clove in there if your cloves are smaller. But either way, once you have those cloves peeled, you can go ahead and slice those thinly and then Using your second hand for leverage, use a rocking motion to mince the garlic super finely. If you want to, you can also use garlic from a jar if you like, but I love the flavor of fresh garlic. I'm going to set the minced garlic aside, and next I'm going to prepare my garnish just because I like to have everything ready ahead of time. You can also do this later while your cauliflower is cooking if you like. So I'm going to use kitchen shears here. I love these. They look just like scissors, but they're actually really, really sharp kitchen shears. I'll link them down below if you want to try these out. You can also use a knife to cut your chives if you like, but I prefer to use shears because it reduces the bruising. So my garnish is ready. I'm going to set that aside as well. And now I'm going to cut my cauliflower. The beauty of this mashed cauliflower recipe is that even if your head of cauliflower is not perfect, it will still turn out great. Mine is a little bit bruised up here. It's totally fine. You'll see you can't even tell in the end result. So I cut the head of cauliflower in half, and then I'm going to cut each of those halves in half again. So basically we're ending up with quarters. This is my trick for removing the stem that's super easy. You're going to hold this quarter vertically and then just cut along the inside and the stem part comes right off and basically you're left with just the florets. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that with all four quarters. Now let's cut that cauliflower down to size. We want all our florets about the same size so that they cook at the same rate and the smaller they are, the faster they will cook. So keep that in mind as well. This will affect your cooking time later. I'm gonna gather all these florets into a bowl and it's time to get cooking. So before I cook my cauliflower, I'm actually going to give my garlic a quick saute. I used to skip this step in this mashed cauliflower recipe. I've been making it for years. But in the past year or two, I decided to saute the garlic and it made such a big difference. It's so much better. It only takes a minute or two, so don't skip this step, you guys. So I added just a little bit of oil. Any cooking oil will do, avocado, olive oil, whatever you got. Add the minced garlic and we're gonna saute that for just a minute or two. It's really quick and you'll know it's ready when it's nice and fragrant. Now you can set the garlic aside. I don't recommend leaving it in the pan, otherwise it might burn. So just transfer it to a bowl or something. And now we're going to cook the cauliflower. There's a couple of ways you can cook this. You can steam it on the stove top, as I'm doing here, or you can cook it in the microwave. Both ways work. I'm adding a little salt here. If you're gonna steam it this way, the water is just gonna boil a little faster. I'm impatient, so it's good to go. And I can go ahead and add my steamer basket on top and then add the cauliflower florets into the steamer basket. 
you're going to use the microwave method, what you're going to do instead is just add a little water into the bowl with the cauliflower, seal the top with plastic wrap, and then microwave that for about 15 minutes. Otherwise, if you're using the stovetop method, you're going to steam for about 15 minutes as well. Both ways take about the same amount of time. Sometimes it's 10 minutes, but I usually err on the side of cooking for longer because the key to really perfect mashed cauliflower that has the best texture is getting that cauliflower just fall apart soft. Use a fork to check. The rest of the process for cooking cauliflower mash could not be easier and it takes just a couple more minutes. So you're going to grab a food processor. If you don't have one, you can also use a high power blender. Use the S blade in your food processor if that's what you're using and go ahead and transfer the cauliflower florets into the food processor. Be careful as they're going to be quite hot, but you do want to do this while they are still hot. And you can see these are like really mushy. This is exactly what we want for a smooth texture in the end. So now I'm going to add the minced garlic in there as well. And I'm adding two tablespoons of butter. It helps to have these broken up into pieces and already at room temperature, that way they will melt really easily. And I'm adding two tablespoons of cream cheese as well. Same thing, these are best cut into chunks. And I put in three quarter teaspoon of sea salt. You're going to adjust this to taste later. So if you want, start with less if you're not sure how salty you like it. And now we're going to puree this for about one to two minutes. The key to having a really, really smooth texture is pureeing this for a long time. So just keep going until it's really smooth. And use a spatula to check the sides to make sure you don't have any chunky pieces stuck on the sides. And go ahead and puree again. Remember, you want two minutes. Now you can remove the lid and go ahead and taste this to make sure that it has the flavor and saltiness that you want. Let me see. Yep, this one is just perfect. I'm going to go ahead and transfer this to a serving dish now, but if you've tasted it and it's not to your liking, feel free to add some more sea salt or some black pepper, or I have like half a dozen variations that I'm gonna link in the blog post down below if you like some extra flavor in your cauliflower mash. That's all it takes. Perfect mashed cauliflower. This is delicious with steaks or chicken or fish, just about any main dish. Now, you don't have to do this, but when I'm serving this for company, I like to do this nice presentation so I kind of swirl it around like this. And I make a little well in the center with the spoon, just like that. And then what I'm gonna do is add a little pat of butter right in the center there. And our optional ingredient, but highly recommended, sprinkle the fresh chives. Okay, I'm ready to try this. Do not stump for myself here. And this butter is all nice and melty now. It's gonna be delicious. A little bit more chives because you can't have too much of this. Amazing. Smooth, creamy, I almost can't tell that this is not potatoes. I hope you'll make this mashed cauliflower recipe soon. If you do, leave me a comment, tell me what you think. I love hearing from you. And snap a photo, post it with hashtag wholesome yum so that I can see it. See you next time on Wholesome Yum, where I share easy, healthy, and keto recipes, all with 10 ingredients or less.